Yeah, I think when I think about uh, Jesuit education and what makes Jesuit education singular, different, unique, um, one of the things I always think of is, is reflection. You know, St. Ignatius has that great prayer that um, he suggests praying each night at the end of the day uh, called the examine prayer where he encourages us to look back on the day and uh, see how we found God working there or how we failed to respond to God's graces during the day and then how we might do better at that tomorrow. But reflection is the key to that. And I think as that's true for our prayer, it's also true for everything we do in a Jesuit school. You know, um, so our academics, you know, it's not just learning facts, but rather reflecting on um, events in history, reflecting on a work of literature, um, how all this affects us and how we find, find God there. So we reflect, um, for example, on a sports season. You know, that's why we have reflection groups after uh, each season ends. You know, because if you think about it, you know, a, a loss just remains a loss or an injury remains an injury unless we reflect and try to find, you know, what good things can we derive from that. You know, how could God possibly be, be reaching us through that? Our Ignatian heritage has many facets. But I think the one that appeals to me most is the Ratio Studi Studiorum, a collection of structures for excellence in teaching. Every educator, regardless of who they are, should embrace them. And a big part of that is reflection, to look at our past, learn from our past, and create a better future. Uh, Jesuit nature has affected me at prep with the constant theme of four others. Even though it's a Jesuit school, it's a Catholic based, but you're free to worship and believe whatever you want to. Uh, since we're brought up with Jesuit ideals, we don't experience as much bullying as, bullying as other schools um, because we have this idea of a prep family, uh, which I think is really great. Yeah, and retreats uh, really help the classes to become closer and learn what it means to follow Jesuit ideals and just be in a kinder environment. Go ahead. Not only do you learn in the classroom, uh, prep gives you tools to be, tools to be a better person. Uh, we grow ourselves spiritually through reflection. Um, as the mission captain of the softball team, I really enjoyed the ability to bring my team together before and after games to say a prayer and really just take the time before a game to focus and uh, go out there and give it all. Um, for me, the uh, Jesuit experience has really been enhanced through athletics um, by relationships my friendships, my passion. Um, the togetherness and the family aspect of the Jesuit school is what I find most unique. Um, I find it very nice and we're all so close to each other. It's a very good atmosphere. I appreciate the ability to come together as a school community and pray together. Another area we reflect on our, our service experiences, especially uh, juniors and seniors on there experiences this summer. One of the things that I love most about Jesuit education and that I think we celebrate in any uh, Jesuit Heritage Week is the fact that we're part of a global network. One of the things that I love about coming to work every day is that I can, I can see us gathering here in Scranton uh, on Wyoming Avenue. And I know that the same thing in a different way is happening in Santiago, Chile and in Tokyo, Japan and uh, Nairobi, Kenya. Glasgow, Scotland, and all over the world as kids and teachers come together to give life to Jesuit high schools in different contexts, in different cultures, speaking different languages, but about a shared project, the project of helping young people grow up to be the men and women they were created to be. And as we know, it's a joyful project, and we're all blessed to be part of it. And that's one of the central things that I think we celebrate during this important year. Did you know I, I met the Pope? <laughs>